G'day guys, my name's Jake. I'm a senior energy consultant here at GEM Energy. And today we'll be going through how to set up your SunGrow online monitoring for your new inverter. To set up your online monitoring, you'll need your smartphone or tablet, your Wi-Fi username, a password, and a recent electricity bill. When you come out to your SunGrow inverter, this is the screen that you'll see. On the home screen, you'll see the current power production and the daily production so far. Your inverter will naturally scroll through the information and provide you with any error codes if one arises. Located underneath your inverter is the Wi-Fi dongle. This is the part that allows the inverter to communicate with the online monitoring. You shouldn't need to configure your inverter for this process as the Wi-Fi dongle should have been attached during the installation. The first step is to download the app. From the home screen, open your app store and in the search bar, type iSolarCloud. Click on the app and then press install. Once the app is installed, open it. You will then receive a pop-up alerting you to the current service address you are on. For Australia, you will need to select the international server unless it has already been selected. Click confirm to continue to the login screen. We now need to register an iSolarCloud web account. Click on register. Click on the end user option. Firstly, check that the first option is selected as international server. Then enter in your email address and select send verification code. Selecting this will then verify your email address. This may take a few minutes to come through, so just be patient. If you cannot see it in your inbox, check your spam folder, open up the email and note the verification code. Return to the iSolarCloud app and type in the code. Then continue filling out the remaining fields, including a password, location, and time zone. Make sure the details are all correct, accept the privacy policy, and click register. Your registration is now complete. You can now log in using your email and password you just created. Click login. Click agree and answer any pop-up questions that come up. Now you are in the iSolarCloud home screen. Now we can connect to your inverter. Select create plant. Select the plant type, which will be residential. Select your inverter type. In this case, the system has a PV inverter. Then select your setup, which will be the WLAN option. On the screen, you'll be able to connect your inverter to see the name of your inverter, which will be SG followed by a series of numbers. Go to your device Wi-Fi setting. Please note that sometimes the network connection may require a password. If so, the password is a serial number, which is located on your SunGrow inverter. Select your inverter. Once connected, return to the iSolarCloud app. You've now successfully connected your device to your inverter. Click next. Select your home Wi-Fi, enter your home Wi-Fi passwords and press confirm. Your inverter is now connected to the internet. Click next. Click next. Now you can connect your device back to your home Wi-Fi. Go back to your Wi-Fi settings on your device and connect back to your home Wi-Fi. Return to the iSolarCloud app. Your device is now connected back to the internet. Click next. Click next again. You can now change the plant name to whatever you'd like. If it hasn't auto-filled the information, then fill out the rest of the form, including the country, time zone, home address, and the date your system was connected to the grid. Click next. Now enter the feed-in tariff and consumption tariff, both of which can be found on your recent electricity bill. Click next. Now type in the organization code. This is a code specific to GEM Energy that will allow us to access your inverter. Then click next. 
Now wait while your inverter is connecting to the ice solar cloud. This process can take five to 10 minutes. The inverter has successfully connected to the home network. Click complete. Return to the home screen and you should now have full access to your SunGrow ice solar cloud data. Thanks for watching guys. For more information, please check out our other SunGrow videos for more help.